Other than a couple of softer moments, I thought it was a very good performance. Um, the will, the demand, but also some of the quality um, to create things. Um, very high the chance count, but I've always spoken about quality of chance, not just about you know long shots and all that. Very high uh, uh, quality chances. Very high entries into the box. Very high in the final third. You know all the markers that usually bring a win. And they didn't. But we've got to keep doing that because there's a clear sign. There's a shift from the last game when I must say I, I thought we I thought it was a good performance until Lucas went in front and then we just literally you know lost our way. But that didn't happen tonight. You know we 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 stayed solid to what we thought was right. Spoke to him at half time. Was really pleased. I said, look, this head scratcher. You're not in front. I don't, you know that's football. I said it's about staying calm and keeping with what we were doing in the first half, which we had a good spell in the middle without creating too much, but had a bit more of the ball. But the feel of the performance was, was really pleasing, and we've got to keep doing that. <laughs> well, of course. Well, the, 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 you know, until the, the the three games in between. I mean, the, the Chelsea game, everyone was saying that how big, how good the mentality was. Then the Tottenham game, everyone said how good the mentality it was. Ten v eleven for a spell, and then we score. And then it got away from us for a couple of games, and that can sometimes happen. We've got to regather it quickly, and we did tonight. But it's got to be a continuous thing. It, you know, it can't just be a, a one-off. We've got to make sure that mentality stays and keep building it and keep growing on it. Um, it's not an easy task. You know, we keep hearing this thing about goal scoring. You know, Chelsea has spent about four hundred million quid, and they've, they've scored thirty goals. That's how tough goal scoring is, you know, in the Premier League. So, you know, it's not like you just go. There you go. We'll all score loads of goals, and we've come on the road and we've scored another two, and arguably could have had more than that. Yeah, we're waiting on news. Um, it doesn't look great. Um, we'll, we'll wait on more details because um, I don't want to say too much until I actually know. Um, but the way it was a twist, I haven't seen it back, but the lads had a look at it, the medics had a look at it, and it doesn't look great. So we'll just have to wait and see and, and hope for the very best for him. I mean, fantastic professional that he is, be, before my time, I'm sure, but certainly in my time. Um, and I must say, not an easy game for Pat to go on for, and I thought he was terrific when he came on. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he missed one. He missed one that just took a nick as he missed it. But he's in the right areas, you know. And I spoke about it when I first got here. And unfortunately, he's, he's had injuries, obviously, about, you know, constantly getting him in the right areas. Uh, but, he, but he's all round game. He's looking fitter and stronger. You know, I spoke, it's not an easy situation, as you can imagine, because of his record in the past and his fitness levels. But I, I, I had this goal of getting him truly fit. But the last bit, and you know I've said this before, and you know, manage that. The last bit is Premier League fitness. That's a bit you, you know. It's hard to get that moment, and you could clearly see tonight he's getting fitter and stronger, and, it, and he's, he's running with a more powerful edge to him because we all know he's quick and, he, and he's a strong player. So, and I'm pleased with that. <clears throat> sure, yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you, look, it, it's a tough one because you, you know. It's such a strange journey so far since I've been here because we, you know, I got here and I think they're taking five points out of 12 games. Now we're, we're point for point on a game, which doesn't seem a lot, but that's a big shift. And then now it's about taking that on even further. And that's what I've been trying to do, you know. And, and two, probably two have got away from us, if I'm honest. The one at Forest when we made a mistake late on, I thought it was a very good performance, similar to today's. Uh, and this one, because I, 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 you know, I was very surprised. I mean, look, football, I've been in it all my life, but. You know, sometimes you think, I don't know how they're two and up. And I certainly thought that at half time. But then the composure of the team to keep performing second half was pleasing, and we're going to keep needing that. So, you know, there's, there's lots of details going amongst it. It's hard to just say, oh, you need this and need that. I've seen this league change many times. Um, so I think it's more the mentality for each game. And we've got to keep building from that performance today. And, and don't get me wrong, we've got tough games, but everyone's got tough games. This stage of the season is about tough games. They should all be tough, by the way. The mentality should be to win them all. Keep me on that must win. I've said many times, every game should be a must win when you're a professional footballer. Sean, we just said that I think that Calvin Lewin was looking for the time for you. How much of a difference are that to the team and the staff that have a big front man like that? Yeah, I think he. I think he's more than a big front man, but I think that the history of Everton suggests that they, they like that type of player. I mean, he's certainly formed in, into that type of player. Um, you know, his, his physical stats weren't where they should have been when I got here, um, and then he broke down. So we wanted to correct that, and we've, we've done some work with him to correct that, and he's done a lot of work to correct that. And now, like I was just saying, that the final bit is, is playing games, and uh, he's looked stronger and stronger each game, and freer. It's not just about strong, it's, he, he looks freer, you know, he's moving more freely. 
Um, and, he, and he's proved again tonight that he can be a very effective player. Yeah, you get that kind of thing, though. I don't really know why. You know, unless they're training, you can't play, you know. You don't, just go, you don't just turn up one day and go, oh, it feels better. And they go, right, you're playing the next day. Trust me, that is trouble. Yeah, he'd been ill for two days. I don't know. That's what I was just saying. You can never guarantee it. So, you know, it's about getting our points. We can't guarantee everything. Results were very pleasing for us at the weekend, but we can't guarantee that. So you don't know. We've just got to keep trying to win games. No, just the one to stay up.